Hello and welcome. Um, I'm going to be summarizing in this video as quickly as I can all of the announcements that happened today in the um, 12th live letter from the producer. Um, I don't have any screenshots or any things to show you. Um, I'm just going to talk about it and I'll put every, all the information linked in the description as possible. Um, so yeah, so we just finished watching it just now. It finished a few minutes ago. Today is the 25th of January 2014, and um, Yoshi P and Fox Clown were also joined by the assistant um, producer who does the development uh, team. He's basically like one of the main of the core development team, and they were talking about all the new features coming. Now the first thing they announced is that uh, before patch 2.2 we're going to have a patch 2.16 which will be released on the uh, 22nd of February to coincide with the start of the um, beta for PlayStation 4. So PlayStation 4 beta or Final Fantasy 14 starts on the 22nd of February 2014 and the full release of the PlayStation 4 version comes out on the 14th of April 2014. So that's when you can expect the PlayStation 4 version to come out. Um, there is going to be a PlayStation 4 Collector's Edition as well, which you can order, which will have all of the same collector, original Collector Edition bonuses as the original um, A Realm Reborn, but also two new ones, which will be the Fat Chocobo um, mount and also the Wind Up Moogle. Now, they have confirmed already that these Collector Edition rewards, the Fat Chocobo and the Wind Up Moogle will be available for um, people who already have a collector's edition account so you don't have to uh, be forced to buy the PlayStation 4 version to get these new rewards if you are a collector edition you will get it so don't worry and um, they also announced a brand new dungeon into the game called uh, Ruins of Amtapur and also four new turns for Bahamut's Coil now um, the Ruins of Amtapur are located in the South Shroud um, and they are the, it's going to be the hardest dungeon in the game right now um, once it gets released it will be the highest item level one it will give the best rewards and so on and it will also drop a new elegant tome so right now we have philosophy and mythology they're releasing a new one but they haven't given it a name just yet so we have to wait for the name but that new um, elegant tome will be used to buy um, different um, new item level gear which I'm assuming is going to be way above item level 90. Now another thing they said as well about the four new turns of uh, Bahamut's Coil is that they are um, going to um, make a, a requirement that you've cleared turns 1 to 5 before you can go into turn 6 and so on and you have to have finished turn 5. Now the good things are about that is that turns 1 to 5 will be made available on the duty finder and also um, turns 1 to 5 will not have a one week lockdown anymore so they're not going to be restricted once a week you can go into the duty finder do it as many times as you like get full al um, gear, item level 90 going forward so that's cool um, so and they also said as well with turns uh, 6 7 8 and 9 there isn't going to be any sort of um, like turn 3 where you just jump from platform to platform and run to the end, they are going to be four full-on turns. So we'll see how they are. They gave a preview of that in the live letter as well, link in the description. And um, they're also going to be adding in some new revamped dungeons. So they're going to be adding in a hard mode Brave Locks, um, a hard mode Halatali, and a extreme mode um, Fawn March, which is the King Moogle Mog um, fight. So they're coming in. Um, they're also going to be uploading, sorry, updating the market board. So on the market board, you will be able to assign a wish list, you know, favorite items, things like that, so that you can revisit items as much as you like um, quickly without having to constantly search for them. Um, they're also going to be adding uh, Chimara and Hydra to the Duty Finder, finally, for the Relic Reborn quests and they've they've now given a label to um, patch 2.2 they're calling it through the maelstrom and they showed a preview example of what the logo might look like but it's not finished yet so they said it could subject to change and um, 
Now, uh, one question that did come up is that um, when they were talking about Levi Anthem, um, people asked, when you defeat Levi Anthem, will you be able to get the Eggy? The answer is no. There will be no Levi Anthem Eggy. And the reason why is because they said if they add a new ability for Summoner, they'll have to then add a new ability for all classes, and they're not intending to do that until the first expansion when the level cap raises. So there won't be a Levi Anthem Eggy yet, or uh, who knows if ever. And they also spoke about the, um, let's see, that there will be a Levi Anthem Chocobo Barding available, I'm guessing after you uh, defeat him. Um, so we'll see how we get that. Now, they were talking as well about these technical changes to the game. So, for example, one thing they're going to be adding in is what is known as the Vanity System, but they've re relabeled it. It's going to be called the Glamour System. And the Glamour System is going to be done um, by crafters. So it's actually crafters who are going to be adding um, updated looks to gear. So how and they do it and so on, that's not been discussed yet, we have to just wait and see. And they're also adding in um, two new Beast Tribe quests, which will be the Kobolds and the Sahagin, um, which we did know that, we've known that for a while, so they're just reconfirming that. And they're also going to be adding in new um, Hildebrand quests. And one um, couple of other little things they, they mentioned was that they're going to be maybe recoloring how the Drake Mount looks. The Drake Mount being the reward from rank 4 with the Amalgia. So maybe that mount will get an update in color. So we'll have to s just wait and see for that. And another thing they mentioned is that um, they are going to be uh, making it so when it's raining your character will show it's wet. It will basically um, be drenched in the rain and so on. So that's a new feature coming into 2.2 as well that your characters will be affected by the weather essentially which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, so that's um, most of it. And they did talk about some other, you know, little changes and refinements, and also that they're releasing a um, a new original soundtrack, which will have a wind-up Bahamut as a reward pair if you pre-order it. Um, and they're also releasing um, a official strategy guide as well, including up to and including patch 2.1 content. Um, again, links in the description to the e-store if you're um, a Japanese player. So, yeah. So, that's basically it. I wanted to try and keep this video as quickly as possible. The only other thing I can think of, looking through my notes right here, is that the small houses on the servers are being expanded. So the small houses, um, right now, when you go into them, it's just a small room and that's it. And they did feel that maybe that's too small. So what they're going to be doing, they're going to be adding a basement to all small houses. So the small houses will have two floors, which I guess is fair enough, because at the moment the medium houses and the large houses have a basement and a second floor. So to make it a bit fairer, they've decided to add a basement to the small houses. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Try to keep this as um, brief as possible. If there's anything else significant that I missed, please leave it in the description below and um, we will see how it goes and obviously once patch 2.16 is launched I will release a full detailed summary as I did for patch 2.15 so anyway thanks for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri